New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft denies he engaged in any illegal activity after being charged Friday with two counts of soliciting prostitution in Jupiter, Florida. Jupiter Police Chief Daniel Kerr announced the charges on Friday, you can watch the video above, as part of a sting on the Orchids of Asia Day Spa, which is suspected of human trafficking and potential money laundering. Kraft is one of more than 20 people being charged with soliciting to commit prostitution, Kerr said. We categorically deny that Mr. Kraft engaged in any illegal activity, a Kraft spokesperson told CNN on Friday. Because it is a judicial matter, we will not be commenting further. Representatives for both Kraft and the New England Patriots did not immediately respond to Thierrep's request for comment. Also read, Ben Affleck defaced Batman cape to honor Tom Brady, video, the charges relate to, two different visits, to the spa, Kerr said in the news conference. According to CNN, Kraft has not been arrested, though Kerr added in his news conference that he was caught on tape. The NFL said in a statement of its own that it is aware of the ongoing law enforcement matter and will continue to monitor developments. According to the league's personal conduct policy, everyone who is part of the league must refrain from conduct detrimental to the integrity of and public confidence in the NFL. This includes owners, coaches, players, other team employees, game officials, and employees of the league office, NFL Films, NFL Network, or any other NFL business. The policy also states that owners are held to a higher standard. The story was first reported by TC Palm. I'd like to alert you to a medical condition I have made up called obvious sportscaster syndrome, OS, also sometimes known as commentator mouth. Os commonly afflict talented, real-life sports journalists making cameos in otherwise good films. Os cases range from mildly irritating to completely taking you out of the moment. The latest film to come down with the disease is Creed 2, which contracted it from the first Creed film in the Rocky franchise. If you or a movie you love suffers from commentator mouth, you may see it represented in the list below. Creed and Creed 2, Max Kellerman even a movie as good as Creed isn't above sports commentator dialogue that can feel labored. HBO's Max Kellerman has the misfortune of appearing in both Creed movies, saying things like that's the heart of a champion. He has his daddy's heart in the first film. The sequel is even more groan-inducing. Kellerman practically praises Sylvester Stallone's screenplay as he goes. At one point he calls Creed's story, Shakespearean, and says, Rocky knows better than anyone exactly how this story ended 30 years ago, MGM, Warrior, John Anik, this is a fight. We have ourselves a fight, oh do we? Warrior, is a relentless, punishing movie, but director Gavin O'Connor has UFC commentator John Anik berate you, not with the worst movie commentary necessarily, but certainly with far too much of it. Mom, time to lock up your china, the boys are at it again, or how about, this isn't happening. It can't happen. It just did, Lionsgate, Friday Night Lights, yes, even a movie about a high school football team found a way to work in color commentators. The broadcasters in Friday Night Lights are almost like a Greek chorus, with lines like there's too much learning going on at that school, Universal Pictures, 42, Red Barber, John C. McKinley, this game is just as tight as a new pair of shoes on a rainy day, the great red barber, John C. McKinley, says in the Jackie Robinson biopic 42, a piece in Bleacher Report argues that Barber's depiction in Brian Helgeland's film isn't strictly accurate because Barber prided himself on never rooting for the home team Brooklyn Dodgers. He also didn't say his, oh, doctor, catchphrase as often as he does in the film. Warner Brothers. Draft Day, Rich Eisen, Draft Day, recruits NFL Commissioner Roger Goddell, Chris Berman, Mel Kuyper Jr., and John Gruden, but the commentator mouth comes from Rich Eisen. First, he literally describes how a draft works and what will happen if the Browns fail to make their pick in the allotted 10 minutes, the team behind them could potentially steal the player the Browns wanted. And when Kevin Costner finally does send in his pick, he provides this brilliant piece of analysis, and the pick is in. 
it's currently being brandished by some walkie-talkied individual taking it up to the commissioner's podium, Summit Entertainment, pitch Joe Buck, this is one of those moments in sports where you'll remember where you were when you saw it, Joe Buck says in the pilot too, pitch Fox rolled out the red carpet for what it hoped would be a splashy, history-making drama imagining the first female pitcher in MLB history. It was cancelled after one season. That included Fox Sports' near entire roster of broadcasting talent, including a brief commentary from Katie Nolan and reporting by Ken Rosenthal. But it was the call from mainstay Joe Buck that sticks in our mind. This is getting really uncomfortable John, really, really quickly, he says after the show's star throws a consecutive 10 wild pitches. Honestly, I don't know if I can watch this, neither can we, Joe. Fox Basketball, Bob Costas and Al Michaels, what could possibly go wrong, Bob Costas said of appearing alongside Al Michaels and David Tucker's much maligned sports spoof basketball, you know who's in it? Ernest Borgnine. He won an Oscar once, but at least their commentary is intentionally bad. Universal Pictures, Dodgeball, A True Underdog Story, Cotton and Pepper, Gary Cole and Jason Bateman, broadcasters Cotton McKnight and Pepper Brooks might actually be the best part of Dodgeball, they're better at bad commentary than the guys who do good commentary for a living. Here's how Pepper describes a decision to forfeit, it's a bold strategy Cotton, let's see if it pays off for him, 20th Century Fox I'd like to alert you to a medical condition I have made up called Obvious Sportscaster Syndrome, OS, also sometimes known as Commentator Mouth. Oz commonly afflicts talented, real-life sports journalists making cameos in otherwise good films. Oz cases range from mildly irritating to completely taking you out of the moment. The latest film to come down with the disease is Creed 2, which contracted it from the first Creed film in the Rocky franchise. If you or a movie you love suffers from commentator mouth, you may see it represented in the list below.